Hello. I bet you wonder what I'm doing with my day today. As you can tell, it's an out and about day. And, uh, oh, I'm going to get hit by a car. <laughs> no. Sorry I didn't share any more of my shopping with you. I <laughs> ran out of battery. Isn't that a bad excuse? I should have known to plug the phone in and check, but I did not. So I ran out of batteries while I was out. But let me show you what I found and then show you the pillow slips as well that I'm working on. So first, let's look at uh, what I got at Joann's today. This is what I got at Joann's today. Oh, I should have brought another yarn to show you the thickness. Let me... Here you go. Now you'll be able to see the difference. This is the yarn I usually use when I make a baby blanket, like when I made the continuous granny square. I use this, but look how thick this is. Yeah, this is going to be a quick blanket. And then for the pillow slips, I'm almost ready to move the hoop. I need to put the outline around and a couple more of the little French knots and I will be ready to move the hoop over. So I'm a little less than halfway done. I will be when I get the outside done here. A little less than halfway. Well, let's go take a look at what's happening in the backyard. Here we go with the grapes there, all over this little prickle pear. But they're happily producing. <laughs> so is the prickle pear. My friend will come and get those soon. We actually are going to have some fruit here. But uh, look at all the climbing it's done. And we run right over to this area, which is supposed to be my potting area, but it has kind of been taken over by the grapevines and this little melon. I don't know precisely what kind of melon this is. Quiet never told me the name, but it seems to be really enjoying the yard taking over wherever it feels like. I've got another melon over here I can show you too that seems to be doing a wonderful job of getting wild. More wildness. And look at the fix. They're getting big. neighbor's apples. They gave us some of these. They're really tasty. Some more grapevine drama. But along with the grapevine drama, there is pumpkin drama. Look at this. We have come out of the fence. And I don't know if you can even see there's a little pumpkin here. Look at that. But it is taken over. Taken over in there. Here are the green beans. <laughs> and look down there, there's the pumpkin. Some of the pumpkin vine over this way too. We've been trying to keep the green beans from coming this way and hanging on the tomato cages. There's one. Hanging on the tomato cage. There's another pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, we're everywhere. It's trying to hang on me now. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, the tomatoes and everything are doing good. You can't really see the tomatoes on this side. You can see them when I come back this way though. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? It's kind of in the shade, isn't it? But you can definitely see this. That's pumpkin everywhere. More tomatoes. Lots of green beans down this way. Uh-uh. Lizard alert.
<laughs> Aren't they interesting? Here's the guavas, the guava tree. Lots of little guavas on here. I wanted to show you that some of the persimmons are dropping already, but while I'm over here, look, there's pumpkin. Not too far away, here's this other little melon. Well, this is going to be interesting. Who can take up the most yard, or most of the garden? There's some... Oh, can I move the leaf out? There you go. See the little persimmons? Still quite a few on here, even though some of them like to drop off. Well, I have a special coming up for you guys. I've been working on it for a couple of weeks. I hope you're going to like it. I'm not going to put it out today, maybe tomorrow, because I've, I've been working on it. But that's all I have for right now for today. So thanks for spending time with me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.